Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today's video is kind of going to be the beginning of my roofless declutter so to speak. I am going to see how much I can really whittle down my makeup collection to just products that I absolutely love. I'm not going to be surprised if my collection honestly gets cut in half if not more. I have lots of people I can offer makeup to to see if they want anything that I declutter. I also, for anything no one wants, I might just empty the pans of stuff and then give Phoebe toy makeup. So that's probably gonna be my plan. I have talked about this in a few videos already, but basically I'm at a point in my life where like I have a very basic makeup routine. I have products that make me happy, that I enjoy using. I have products that I would like to hit pan on or fully use up. And my collection, it's just too big. You know, this is from the 2017-18 time frame when I was collecting a lot of makeup and a lot of this makeup is that old. So my makeup spending and intake has decreased so much the last two or three years. And I just need to let go of my makeup and not just have it sitting in a drawer in my room because I am trying to really declutter a lot of my life, not just my makeup. Like we're trying to just clean and bring a little bit of peace to our house in general. So for me, I'm starting in my office with my makeup. This might extend past makeup once we're done, but I have, how many Alex drawers are there? However many Alex drawers, that'll each be a video. I have my backup drawer. I have makeup I've never even used that's in my closet in my office. I have a whole shelf of nail polish. Like we'll see how far this project takes us. I also even might do a makeup brush video. We'll see, we'll see if we get to that point. But today I'm doing the, I might just, I think I'm gonna work from the bottom up on my Alex drawers and the bottom drawer is labeled as bronzers, but it's both just my bronzers and I don't have just like a face palette drawer. So my face palettes are kind of divided between the blush, highlight, and bronzer drawer. So there are some face palettes in this video as well. So I'm going to try my best to set this up. As you see, I'm in my daughter's room. <laughs> Her room usually has the best natural light in the house. And of course, of course today it's cloudy and rainy. So I did like put an overhead light on, but we'll see how well the footage turns out. Hopefully by the end of this declutter series, I have like a setup picked out. But if you guys wanna see me decluttering my bronzer collection, then keep on watching. Let's go. I hope I'm located in a good spot for our sound, but this is that bottom drawer and I'm just gonna start kind of, I think I'm gonna start down and work my way up and we'll go through everything. This first product is from Makeup well, I think it's Revolution Pro, and this is their Sculpt and Glow palette. I did really enjoy this product when I first got it, but honestly, like, <laughs> I don't use it ever, um, and I think it's really nice, and I think someone would enjoy this. So this will be getting decluttered. Next is from Wet n Wild, and this is when they had like a dragon collab many years ago, and this is their Bronze Dynasty bronzer. There used to be like a dragon emblem in there. This is okay, it's just, it's not something I love anymore, and honestly, like, the packaging, doesn't even work, so I'll be decluttering this one as well. This next bronzer is from Makeup Revolution, and this is their Vivid Baked Bronzer in the shade Ready to Go. I actually really do like baked bronzers, but this shade, I just, I really never loved, and honestly, the packaging is falling apart, so, and it just fell apart. <laughs> cool. So that one is also getting decluttered. This next bronzer I have is from Maybelline. This is their City Bronzer in the shade 200. I like this bronzer a lot. So this is one that I will be keeping. It, I don't really have a bronzer this shade. Um, it's kind of unique in my collection and I really like the formula. The next I have here is a mini from Too Faced and this is their Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I actually will be keeping this. I like this bronzer. It's really cute. It's really tiny. It doesn't take up much room. And I will be keeping it, like I said. Wow. Next, this is probably the second oldest product in this video, if not the oldest. I think this is second oldest. Kat and Bondi Shade and Light. Um, I very much like this shade. This is a great shade. However, I feel like you can see that all my focus has been on this side of the palette. And even though this like does hold some memories to me, I know that I'm only holding onto it for the memories and not the product. So I'll be decluttering this finally. Next, I'm pretty sure this was my birthday gift last year from Sephora, the NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is actually the only time I've ever owned Laguna and it's really cute and tiny. So I'm actually gonna keep this one. This here is one of like my current favorite bronzers. This is the Nambla bronzer in the shade Ombra. It's got a lot of wear on it for one of my newer bronzers. So definitely keeping this one. Next is another one of my loves, the Charlotte Tilbury contour palette. As you can see, this is a well-loved palette. I will say 
not super crazy about the highlight. So I think if I ever finished the bronzer, I would call it done because I really don't love this, but I do really love this. Next is from BH Cosmetics. I don't even think they make these bronzers anymore, but I actually do like the formula of this, so I will be keeping it. This is from Essence, and this is their matte bronzing powder. Um, this actually came to me broken. That's why it looks like that. And I actually did really used to enjoy this, but I haven't, couldn't tell you the last time I used it, so I'll be decluttering it. This palette from Catrice, I don't think they make it anymore. Their contouring palette. I thought a long time about it because I actually really like the powder and the highlight in this. However, I feel like I bronze a lot more than I contour these days, so I just, I don't see myself using this, so I'm gonna pass it along. Next is actually probably one of my newer bronzers as well. I got this last year, the Beauty Bakery Snackaroon Bronzer. This, the shade House Blend. It's actually a really, really cute product. It's super tiny and looks like a little macaroon and I'm gonna be keeping it. From Wet n Wild, I have their Bikini Contest Bronzer. I can't even remember why I bought this. It's really not ever been a product I loved and I'm fine passing it along. This was, I think, one of my favorite products of 2020, the Revlon Skin Lights Bronzer. I still really like this one. It's like a really nice glowy bronzer. It's baked and it just, it looks so nice on the skin. Okay, this is a perfect example of me keeping things just because. So this is the Gigi Gorgeous Bronzer. She did a collection of makeup in collaboration with Ipsy and I actually met her at Ipsy Creator Day in 2019, but I dropped it like right after I got it. And I was like, oh, I'll figure out something to do with it. I said that in 2019. So I'll, like I said, empty this one and give it to Phoebe. Because it's cute, like learning to push that and open. It's a fun toy, trust me. This one here is from Tarte and this is their Breezy Cream Bronzer. This one is hard for me. So I like the formula of this one a lot, but I don't think I like the shade of it. Every time I wear it and I like look at myself, I always think I look really strange. <laughs> I really like the formula. And I'm like, it's my only cream bronzer that's like not on a stick. This one's hard for me, but I think I'm gonna declutter it. I wish I liked the shade better, but I just don't. <laughs> this one from Milani is their Silky Matte Bronzer. I have this in 01. This is a really, really great bronzer. I'll definitely be keeping this one. This is actually one that I'm wearing today that I'm currently trying to pan the Physician's Font Formula Sculpting, Sculpting Bronze. There is that much left. So this hopefully will be in our year end empties. This one is from AOA and it's their sculpting stick. Again, I used to contour a lot. I don't really contour anymore. Hmm, let me see what it looks like. That's the shade. Hmm. I might keep this one around and use it more so in the, the winter months because I really do enjoy using like creamy contour and bronzer sticks. And I'd rather have a cream contour than a powder contour, I think. So I'm gonna keep this one. This next one I haven't used much. I think I'm gonna to try to focus on this one for a while before I start focusing on this, but this is from Makeup Revolution. It's their under eye brightener in the shade. What's the shade? What's the shade? I think it was called like caramel or something. I don't know why I can't find the shade name, but this was supposed to be a dupe for the, I'm realizing I got unzoomed when I paused my video. So this was actually a dupe for a Charlotte Tilbury bronzer that I have already finished before. I like it, but I like the Charlotte Tilbury better, but I'm still gonna use this one because it's pretty good still. This is the Catrice Contour Stick. And I think I'm gonna keep this one too, just because it's a, it's a type of product I like to use and I find it easy enough to pan these type of products. So I'm good with keeping this one too. This one from NARS is their, what is it called? It's like, I forget, this is Laguna, but it's not the same formula. And it's, as you can see, it has terrible hard pan, terrible hard pan. I just did not get along with this version and that's why I kept the little one and I'll be declittering this one. Next is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I am positive I've never touched this powder and I've only used this powder, so it's going. This one is gonna be hard for me. This is the Too Faced Gingerbread Man Bronzer. I never use this. It was cute in theory, but I just, I prefer this bronzer from Too Faced so much more than this one. So even though the packaging is adorable, I think I gotta say goodbye to it. This here is from Rimmel and this is their Natural Bronzer in Sunshine. This was like one of my go-tos a while back, but it's very glittery. Like, I don't know if you can really see, but it's just like full of gold glitter. So I think I'm okay to say goodbye to this one. This is another bronzer I'm wearing today, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the oldest product in my bronzer collection and I am trying very hard to pan it this year. Clearly I'm doing pretty well. This one I was thinking about for a while. This is the Samantha March and Ofra River Bronzer. I think I'm gonna declutter this one. I have the um, like eyeshadow face palette that also has the bronzer, blush, and highlight in it. So I think I'm going to declutter my singles and just keep the palette. So this will be going. This one I am keeping the e.l.f. 
primer infused bronzer. I have this in the shade Forever Sun Kissed. Really like this formula, definitely keeping it. This is a contouring and highlighting palette that I got on Shop Miss A. It actually is a very decent formula considering this is a $1 palette, but I don't use it. This is a face palette. I will definitely be keeping the Smashbox. What is it called? Halle Contour. This is one of the my favorite face palettes I've ever purchased and I will definitely be keeping it. This is an old favorite from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. This is their Mega Bronzer in the shade Cool. I used to really, really love this. However, I just don't love it anymore. So I'm gonna be saying goodbye to this one. This is from Catrice and this was called their Sunkissed Bronze. I don't even think they make this anymore, but it has it's a baked um, bronzer with like a swirl of like shimmer in it. Honestly, beautiful, love it, keeping. From Bare Minerals, I have a little sample of their Warmth Bronzer. I am not crazy about this shade, so I'm going to be decluttering this guy. This is actually a face palette I bought. I really liked cream products and I liked this brand Alley Oop and they made this like little like cream product trio. However, I don't think I've reached for it since I made the video. I'm pretty sure that means I don't really care for it. So I'm gonna be decluttering it. From Bobbi Brown, I have their bronzing powder in medium two. Never reach for this. I am just gonna pass it along. Uh, one of my favorites, the, the Balm Take Home the Bronze bronzer. Big fan of this, would love to fully use this guy up. Okay, this one might be a big surprise for everyone, including myself. Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzing palette. I'm gonna, I'm gonna declutter it. I love this shade, but I don't wanna keep this entire thing for this one individual shade. If they had this as a single princess cut, done, I'd get it. However, I don't touch any of the other powders and it still like smells so nice and everything and I'd love someone else to get to use it. All right, let's let me move all this close so I'm not like reaching across the whole rest of the video. All right, here I have a mini Hoola. I've actually used Hoola in two videos recently and I basically really enjoyed it. So I'm just gonna keep it. I just have the little mini of it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in Mink. And again, it's like that much and I'd love to just be able to use that up myself. This is a e.l.f glow up face palette. This was a holiday palette a few years ago and I really do like it. I think the quality of everything in this is really good. However, again, I don't use it. And like these are the blush shades and they're not blush shades I typically am using anymore. So going to say goodbye to this one. This <laughs> cover effects palette, like the actual class broke. This is their light medium uh, face palette. This was like such a big deal. I feel like back when it was in BoxyCharm and I do like this shade. <laughs> But again, I don't really use any of these other shades. Like this is not the tone of blush I wear. So I'm just gonna declutter it. <laughs> Last year's from Pixie, and this is a collab palette they did that has bronzing and highlight. Honestly, like the powders in this are really, really good quality. However, again, I don't use it a lot. And a lot of these tones are a little too dark for me. So I'm just gonna declutter it. And right now I'm going to go through and do some tallying and see how much I kept versus declutter. Okay, so here is everything laid out. I don't think I've ever filmed such an intense declutter, but this is what I'm decluttering. That's what I'm keeping. This is 23 products and that's 20 products that I'm keeping. However, I feel like I'm decluttering so much more because I'm getting rid of so many face palettes. So this feels very therapeutic. I'm very happy. I'm gonna let people choose from this and it's just gonna be gonna feel good and I'm very excited. If, so if you guys enjoy watching these kind of declutters, if you guys like watching people with more curated collections, hopefully this will be a little bit inspiring to somebody out there because I feel like I have had such a weight lifted off my shoulder just going through one Alex drawer so far. And yeah, next is going to be my blush drawer. So stay tuned for that. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below, give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.